Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I okay, so look, there is, I'm seeing two different people here. Here you are in this beautiful star energy, okay? You could be um, in the public eye. You could be, uh, I feel like you're a lot of things. To be honest with you, I feel like you're an empath. Um, you're very intuitive, very tapped into the divine, okay? You seem to, you feel like a messenger energy, so light worker energy. You could be a divine feminine, divine masculine, take it how it resonates, right? You could be an Aquarius as well, but you don't have to be. You've got that open, your mind is open, for any possibilities, especially spiritual, like you know that the divine is capable of anything in your life, okay? Um, and I feel like um, you are you could have been put in the public eye. You could have your own platform, uh, your own website, blog, vlog, whatever they're called, right? You could just be on social media, um, inspiring others, okay, with whatever it is that you're doing. And you're very creative, okay? Um, you're co-creating something here with spirit. And you're very calm, um, peaceful, serene. You make people feel good. You raise vibrations in other people. You could be a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, you know, or just you could have this way about you that's just absolutely lovely, okay? I feel like it's everything. It's all of what I said. That's the energy that you're in. That's who you are. Okay, you care for other people. You're very nurturing. You could be a healer. You could work in like healthcare. You could be a doctor, a nurse. Um, I don't know. I'm hearing something about like, is there somebody that like, like a meal planner or a nutritionist? That's what I want to say. Thank you, Divine. You could be something like a nutritionist as well or work in physical fitness, something like that. I'm just, you know, that could be a confirmation for someone, right? But I feel like there's a, a masculine energy who can't stop thinking about all of this stuff about you. Um, they're literally turning their back on, um, on, I feel like it's whoever they chose over you, okay? Neither one of these people are really talking to each other. They could even be on a break, right? <laughs> um yeah, and I feel like whoever they chose over you is having nightmares about this. They're, they can't stop thinking about um, the fact that this masculine wants you, okay? They kind of don't even want to talk to this karmic anymore. I feel like there's not a whole lot of communication. They're not sleeping in the same bed. Here's the thing. The, se the minute this masculine decided not to sleep in the same bed with this karmic, she knew it was over. Um, I feel like she's been competing with you the whole time, okay? Um, and she knows that she just she can't compete where she can't compare. And she's starting to, um, I feel like this karmic may have a low self-esteem or um, it's really starting to get to her, okay? It really is. And she's very fearful. She's having a lot of anxiety, yeah, because she knows it's over. She may even end up homeless, all right? Somebody here is going to leave a home or be kicked out of a home or be evicted. She knows it's only a matter of time. It could be... Uh, she's feeling like it's days or hours even, you know, before she's left behind. Um, this masculine is choosing you. They're about to make this decision. Yeah, they're choosing you. They're only passionate for you, okay? Um, yeah. And she's about to uh, lose this relationship. It's about to be over for this karmic. This masculine, her and, her and this masculine are barely talking. Maybe if they talk, a lot of harsh words are said. 
this masculine could have already spoken the truth and how they feel to this karmic. This could be what they're, this karmic is laying in bed at night thinking about. All right? Are the things that were said, you know? Or she's trying to put the puzzle pieces together. Like, um, has this person already been with you? Have they already communicated with you? When are they going to leave? What are they planning? Like, she's uh, constantly in her head about this. And if she's sleeping at night, she's having nightmares about this. Waking up in the middle of the night, all kinds of stressed out and panicked because she knows she's about to be left behind. This situation's ending and somebody's going to be moving out or moving away. Okay? Someone could be moving away to go um, somewhere else in the world maybe. Like this is a location change. Traveling. Having to travel. A distance yeah neither one of these two look they're not sleeping together they're not sharing the same bed and she knows this is a problem right for her she's losing this masculine they have no passion for her they don't want to be around her they don't want to talk to her she knows intuitively that they're thinking about what they're gonna say and how they're gonna cut this karmic off without maybe a break in her heart too bad. I don't know. She knows it's coming. This masculine is thinking about how they're going to end this. I feel like there's a masculine who's being spiritually led to do this. So they've got spirit guides around them, giving them the courage, giving them the strength, telling them that they're out of time. Yeah, look, they're out of time. If they want another chance with this earth angel, the, the time is now to act, okay? Because um, yeah, this is them, if they want another chance, they need to act now, right? And come out with it and speak their truth to this karmic. This karmic is, she's just, she knows she's got this feeling of impending doom, Okay, she knows that this is about to happen. And spirit is showing this masculine. Do something or lose this chance because this is coming to an end. This cycle is coming to an end. That door is closing. Okay, they need to put in some kind of effort. They can't sit on this any longer. Ooh. High Priestess energy, ooh, and the King of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person, um, you know, maybe in the past they were silly about love or they didn't, they've never experienced love like yours before, okay? This person could also be getting a lot of tarot card readings or listening to tarot and it's uh, the things that they're, fi you know, finding out about is making them, like, extremely emotional. Like, they... They may be having a hard time handling their emotions right now. They're also getting emotional because you haven't been speaking to them. You're still not speaking to them. And you're handling things so gracefully. You know, that's another part of this. They're emotional because you know what? You could have retaliated. When this person chose someone else over you, you could have said or done, you probably knew some things about this person, but you kept your mouth shut about it and you just move forward, okay? And they're like kind of, I feel like overly emotional about that because they know that you're innocent, you're sweet, you're kind, you're, you're, um, you have integrity, this is just too many cards, though, spirit. This person is, they're kind of an emotional wreck over you. You could actually be the tarot card reader. Um, if they're watching tarot and you're the reader, they're watching what you're saying, what you're doing. This person can't stop thinking about um, how they need to come forward and make you some kind of offer. Okay, or give you an apology. Try to make this right. This person can't stop thinking about it. They could also be um, hearing through tarot that you're about to get someone new. They're very burdened by all of this information, by 
um, what they have to do next, and they have no they have no more time to prepare. Spirits tooting that horn and calling them to take action. The divine is like, look, behold, this is an earth angel, a light worker um, that you had a chance with. The one that you're passionate about. Are you going to follow your passions? Because now is the time if you want another chance. And I feel like they do. They, they want to. Here, comes an, here it comes. Either this is a new person coming in that you're meeting, or they know this is what they have to do because they don't want to let you go. You're, you're a divine feminine, I feel. And this is a divine masculine, and they feel you leaving them behind. Energetically, they can feel your disconnect. They can feel your absence. They can feel you taking your energy back. You, like, snatch it back, okay? Um, yeah, and they... I feel like, too, this person's been having some nightmares of their own, you know? How they betrayed you. They do not want to let you go. They're very worried that you're going to meet someone new. And this is changing your person. They're like, emotionally, this person is kind of a wreck. Okay? Um, and people are seeing them. They're, it's like they're sluggish. They're, um, they have no zest for life. The only thing that they can think about is you. I feel like they're completely obsessed. Okay. Ooh. You could be an Aquarius, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, heavy on Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces. Your person could possibly be a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, see, I, I, this person may even know of somebody who wants to come in and start dating you. Look at people are going to be coming out of the woodwork here. And this person that you're masculine, they're getting upset about it. Every time I get the Knight of Swords, I feel the anger off of this person. I'm telling you. They've got something to say. I feel like it's the, the horse that does it for me. This horse is even, the horse is even angry. Okay, so they know that you're meeting new people. They know that you're uh, maybe even starting to date again, or that's what they're hearing through tarot. Take it how it resonates. And this person is getting upset. They're, you know what, what, what makes them upset and obsessed the most is are all the things that they don't know. You know, you, you've been elusive. You may have been secretive, keeping your moves hidden, okay, not speaking, right, just doing your thing and being a, a light for the world, um, and yeah, you're, um, this person has no idea who you're talking to, who you're spending your time with, um, they think about this all day, yeah, it's making them jealous, it's making them envious, it's driving them crazy, Okay, they're in a lot of regret. I feel like this person is about to approach you as well, but they're going to have to compete with other people because I really do see others starting to come into your energy as well. And you are manifesting new love here. Um, they know it. Yeah, they're getting ready to walk away. Okay, they're getting ready to walk away, not from you, from this karmic. Or whoever this is that they chose over you. They're getting ready to speak their truth. Yep, they're walking away so they can have their wish fulfillment. They're walking away from everyone that doesn't make them feel fulfilled. Okay? And they're coming towards the one who does bring them emotional fulfillment. And that would be you. So this person has a wish, right? <laughs> this is that I have a dream card. They have a wish. And uh, what they need is your cup of love. They want their blessing. There's one cup missing in this picture, okay? At the nine of cups, all this person can do really is wish. 
you know i mean they may have some things that they're celebrating here but it, it looks like they're in a lot of uh regret and sorrow right suffering losses so here's the thing um right now it's just a wish in order to get their wishes fulfilled and to be happy and have their wish fulfillment right in order to get what they want what they truly want they're going to need that blessing back. This person was given a blessing when they were given you. When you walked into this person's life, they had no idea what kind of gift they were actually getting. Okay? They turned you away. They turned their nose up at you. Sacrificed you in a third party left you behind for this um whoever this is that's stressing out because she can't compete with you they put yeah they put you in a competition and a third party situation and i feel like they walked away from you and they're regretting that they're regretting ever turning their back on you they're regretting the fact that it's taken them too long to come back in because it's making it more difficult for them now Okay, and without your cup of love, without you in their life, they're not going to get their wishes fulfilled. This person is totally stressing out. So is, um, so is the karmic. I, you know, honestly, I don't know that she's the karmic. I do know that she was competing with you, so it kind of makes me feel like she was. But, um... Yeah, that happy home, that's over and done. Look at this. And here's that wish fulfillment, right? This person wants to come back around to you. You're the one with the ton of cups. See, I feel like they thought they could have this with somebody else, and it's not working out that way. And if they don't get your love back, they're not going to get their wish fulfillment. You know, they're walking away from this karmic individual to come towards you, collective. They want their happiness. So here they come. They're about to take action. Okay, this is a lot of communication. Um, text messages, phone calls. Okay, they want to balance the scales here. Yeah, look, they're choosing. They are choosing a path. They want their empress. And that would be you. Divine feminine energy. Oh, and then we've got the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So this person, um, they know if you could say no, you know, and that would be fair. Yeah, they are feeling like such a fool. If you um, were to turn this person away, oh my gosh, they would probably suffer the pain of losing you for the rest of their life. They feel like such a fool. Yep, because now they want to get back together. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Virgo, an Aries, a Libra. You could be a Libra. I also have Capricorn out here. And when this person thinks of you being with someone else, um, they are, like, extremely jealous, okay? Because, yeah, they know that... Um, that you're the one for them. And look, we've got, yep, they're about to miss their opportunity because you know what? You're about to get new love. See, there's that blessing. They had this at one point. They turned their nose up at it and chose someone else. They, they took this holy grail couple love and kicked it to the flipping curb. Okay? Yep, that's what they did. They were given this cup and they chose others over you. They acted like they didn't care. They treated it like it was nothing for possibly years. And so now I feel like you are about to get um, somebody new. New love is coming in for you. And this, this blessing is going to go to an emperor. And they'll be stuck with just a dream. Okay? Yeah. Without this cup... They cannot have their Ten of Cups. They're not going to get their wishes fulfilled. Yep, here they come to try to apologize to get you back. You could be dealing with the Pisces. 
You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe a Libra. Yeah, it's the truth. Now they want to talk. They want to talk and they want to get you back because they don't want to let you go. They want to get you back before somebody else snatches you up. Sorry about that, everybody. That was a that was like a brand new battery in my camera, okay? Um, is the reading that long? Jeez, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, they don't want to let you go now. But see, here's the thing. They're going to have some competition because you are about to get somebody new. And this new person is riding in to have a victory. They're in your energy bubble now. They're in your vicinity. This is um this is an empress and or sorry, an emperor. Um this is somebody who has learned their lessons in life too. Okay, and now they're having a victory. They've got their act together. Um this could be somebody in the public eye as well. Uh, and very prominent in their community, like they're very well liked, you know, this is going to be your new person coming in. And um, your past person, they're going to have to compete. They put you in a competition, remember? Now they're going to have to compete. Because new love is naturally um, being... Um, magnetized to you you're a magnet right now and you're about to get a real emperor this you and this new person together you could be a power couple all right this is a power couple you could build empires together all right so this is who you're going to get this is a real blessing here and you're not going to snivel at a blessing like this person did that's what they did they just kind of sniveled at it like eh, i don't want it no, no, you know, uh, yeah, now they do anything to get you back. Now they don't want to let you go. So be expecting communication from this person from your past, okay? But you, um, I feel like you already have new love coming in. So you're going to have a decision to make, okay? Let's see, um what your oracles are for today. Yep. Co-creating with the universe. I feel like, too, this new emperor coming in is going to protect you, be there for you, watch over you, support you. I feel like this is a protector coming forward. Yep, look at this. And there it is. The emperor and the empress right there. Yep, this person, they're already in your vicinity. What did I say? They're already around you. This could be somebody that um, just kind of shows up at your house for some reason. Like, you could meet them in a really odd way, you know? Um, they could be somebody like a, I don't know. It's somebody who could possibly own their own business. Uh, but, yeah, they're already in your vicinity, okay, in your energy field, whatever it is. Yep, here, here they are. Treasure Island, love, abundance, that's what you're going to have with somebody who knows who's going to know how to love you the right way. Okay, this is this emperor. They're going to... They're going to um, make up for all of the mistakes that everybody else made, okay? They're going to do it naturally, all right? It's just the kind of person that they are. You're about to get a really good person who's going to love you the right way, okay? What a great concept, right? Yes, it's a blessing. It's that, it's that Ace of Cups. So get ready. You're about to get someone new. And I feel like this person from your past, they're going to be stuck with just wishes. That's all they're going to have. Yeah, you're, you're moving on right into your wish fulfillment. I feel like this is your, your ex's energy, though, I have to say. This past person... They're going to be like, why? Why me? Right? Um, they're going to be kind of blaming the universe. 
But I feel like the universe is going to be telling them, dude, we tried to get you to come forward sooner, but you didn't. Now you missed out on your Ten of Cups. This is the Ten of Cups in this deck. That wish. That wish is going to someone new. That blessing goes to this emperor now because they're proving themselves worthy of you. So yeah, get ready. Get ready to receive new love. There's new love coming in. Someone who's going to be honest with you right out the gate. Someone who's going to love you just for who you are. All right? Get ready to receive this new love. Yeah, and then someone in chaos and conflict who kept you in stagnancy, they're coming back around to try to repair this with you, to try to mend this. So you are about to have a choice to make when it comes to love, okay? <laughs> so decide now what it is that you really want because both of these people are about to come in, okay? Okay.